Take your position. And a fast start by Todachev of Bulgaria, quickly on to the first barrel. Remember that first barrel, 220 pounds. The Ambles, 265 in each hand. Gotta have the cap. Three reaches for it, cost him valuable time. All the way, all the way over. Those barrels are full of water, so it's a real awkward carry cast. And Todachev already on to the second barrel. That weighs 245 pounds, and they have to carry it all the way across the finish line, and it has to be placed standing up. As awkward as they are, Todd, I think these guys would rather be carrying a grease pig than the slippery barrel. And Toitachev stops the clock at 33 seconds. Meanwhile, Carl Gillingham struggling to keep his barrel in his lane, and that's 245-pound barrel, and it's full of water. Carl's got an exceptional grip. He just can't get a good handle on this thing. It's just so awkward. The plastic is smooth and slippery. Gillingham being warned, you cannot roll the barrel. It has to be carried completely across no the finish line rolling, no rolling, and no placed. Finished. And he will stop the clock just over a minute. That's 42-year-old American Carl Gillingham from Minnesota. But the victory goes to Stoyan Todachev of Bulgaria with a time of 33.56 seconds. And we're set to go with heat number two of the medley competition here just outside the Hilton Anaheim. First up in lane number one in the red top, that is Sebastian Venta from Poland, 6'7", 326 pounds. After a great performance last year, he plans on making the final and maybe hitting the podium. Next to him in the middle in the blue, this is Mark Westaby from England, 6'4", 366 pounds, 42 years of age. New to strong man, but he's got farm strength. And finally rounding out this heat is Don Pope, 35 years of age, 6'3", 320 pounds from Fairview Park, Ohio. Definitely one of the favorites, Todd, after a third place finish last year. They start off with the anvils. That's 265 pounds in each hand. Sebastian Venta makes quick work of that. They're onto the first barrel, Kaz, 220 pounds. That's full of water. This thing's just slashing all over, and Mark's grip is dead wrong. Well, they all place that first barrel. Now it's onto the tougher 245 pound barrel. Remember, it has to be placed across the finish line for the clock to stop. Big slip by Venta. It's Don Pope at the line. Sebastian Venta had the win, dropped the barrel, and that opened the door for American Don Pope to get the win. His time, 26.12 seconds. He'll claim all five points. A great showing for Mark Westaby. He gets second, 26.33. But the real story, Sebastian Venta had the win, dropped the barrel. He'll have to settle for third. And you can see right here, Sebastian Venta just loses his grip. That opens the door for Don Pope.